Hello Floss 2, welcome back to my Crafty Corner and I'm Crafty Kara and let's chat. So um, it's been a couple weeks, um, it's been a little crazy as usual around here, um, probably because a Monday just didn't go as I planned, but anyways, um, my son's track is over, he just finished it last night, he's placed in almost every single meet that he was in, so it was really successful. Um, season for him for being a first year sixth grader when their seventh and eighth graders were much taller and bigger than him and um yeah i'm really excited for what he can do next year um of course we're wrapping up school almost we have a couple more weeks so things are getting a little crazy and i would love to participate in stitch mania but unofficially i'm not doing a whole lot uh if anything i'm kind of doing a whip mania because um yeah, I just have things I want to finish, so. But let's move on to my one announcement that I have. So, okay, a couple weeks ago when um, Keepsakes announced that they would have the waiting list open for StitchCon, I thought, okay, here's my chance to at least try and see what I can do. And, I mean, as soon as that 9.30 hit that Saturday morning, I put my name on the wait list and was just kind of crossing fingers. And later that night when me and my husband were at dinner, I got the notification that it was my time and that I could pay and go. And I was over. I was just ecstatic. Um, so I took a couple days to make sure I could make uh, some proper arrangements and I paid it. So I'm going to StitchCon weekend. B. I was going to say weekend two, but weekend B, which is what the 17th through the 20th. Don't know exactly what days yet because I may or not be able to do it all four days, but I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm just excited because this is my first time with any stitching retreat, any really my first solo vacation ever because this would be a good opportunity for me to recharge without the kids or the husband. So, um, I'm looking forward to all kinds of things. I'm, st I'm in the group, but I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to bring, what, you know, others are bringing, what not to bring. I did see uh, Stephanie share the Facebook, or not Facebook, um, YouTube video that the governor of Ohio has lifted the mask mandate. So I'm thrilled about that. I will still, of course, bring mine, but I would love to see more smiling faces if possible because it just just makes the experience better, I think. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I'm hoping to meet many, many of any of you who are going, you know, if you are going and, um, you know, you can drop a, drop, a, you know, your name or link below and let's chat. Um, speak, speak some, especially for weekend B. Um, moving on, my finishes. A lot of the finishes that I have, I've already given away because a couple weeks ago, that was Teacher Appreciation Week. I had no I've shown some of them on here, but if you want to see those, go to my Instagram, crafty.kara, um, where I was sharing a lot of those um, because I wanted to make sure I had a good uh, record of what I finished. Uh, but they've all been given away, including a little pouch that um, I stitched on. I was going to give it to that teacher, but I didn't want her to have to do it on her own because I, she had mentioned that she cross-stitched before, so I almost let her do it. But it was really cute, and so I give, gave away one to a second grade teacher, one to a former first grade teacher last year. Because of the pandemic, we didn't do much with uh, gift giving last year. And um, uh, two, my son has two preschool teachers, so I've given out four gifts this year. Um, plus, I gave goodie bags to the classroom helpers, uh, my son's preschool, so it was a lot of fun. Um, now let's go on to whips. I'm going to see if I can do these quickly. This one, there's not much to show you. It is the Just Another Button Company's um, Stitch Every Holiday. And this one was No Housework for April 7th. Let's see if I... That is kind of what it looks like. There's not really good pictures of it online. I'm hoping to have a better one. I'm stitching mine on uh, the piece left over from my Lizzie Kate calendars. And it's really starting to look more like a kitchen counter now. So like this is the window. There's going to be a curtain over the window, some bowls here, the sink with the water. The water's running down. 
and there's a basket. Oh, I want to say a laundry maybe here. And then like the, uh, not the mop, the broom and the dustpan is over here. Uh, and then the buttons will fit on there accordingly. So I really like how it's, I don't know, I really like how it's turning out so far. Especially since I didn't have a real picture to go by. This is, this is different for me to kind of see it appear as I stitch. This, that's my new car, um, my new car whip because since of all the other projects I did for the teachers were kind of my car projects that has now been adopted or not adopted been now given to the car um because it's easy to take out this one not a whole lot of progress I tried because uh, it's the dimensions simplicity vintage kit the chart is colored but with three different colors I don't know if I said this before for some reason that just screws up with my eyes um I love colored charts but I either want a full color chart or I want a black and white chart. But with three colors and various symbols, it becomes very I know, just distracting to look at. So I had um, was starting to begin to highlight on the paper. So there's a little bit more, not much, but I started to, because there's this blended one, this darker piece. I don't know if you can see, is um, black and the blue together. But I got my new button on there. Um, I made it from a button that had a shank. Not button. A needle minder. If you can remember. Um, but I took the shank off and turned her into a cute little needle minder. So. But now that I've started highlighting the chart, I'm ho really hoping to get better progress on that one soon. Um, next one up, I was able to get a decent amount of progress because this was something I was starting to work on while the girls were at cheer. And so we're there in a car for almost two hours. And since it's now almost summertime, I'm getting more daylight longer so I can actually sit with regular daylight before I have to turn on my little travel hot light. Um, and I actually got quite a bit done um, on Sweet Pea. So this is what she's going to look like. And before, I probably just had a lot of this purple up here and a tiny bit of the red, but that's where we are right now. This looks really good. Let's see if I can fold it up just a little. So I've got a lot more down in here done and started in her bodice here, the shading. But I kind of take one color and I stitch as much as I possibly can with it. And then I pick another color so that I'm not going too far out. But she's really starting to take form. so, And I still love it on that blue. So those were really my other whips other than my finishes um, that I had these last couple weeks. Um, yeah. So other crafts. I just realized I did that last time. There is another craft that you can see. I think I have this picture on Instagram. Sorry. These, almost everything in this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this is how tall it is. It's 11 by 14 frame. I spray painted, or not painted, I not spray. I painted it purple. Um, these little crates, uh, I painted it purple with some glitter. And then there's drawers um, that had a drawer in it. I pulled the drawer out and turned it upright. And they are pencil. A storage like pencil caddy. So I can put my markers in here. Pencils. I have a clip on here right now. And then at the last minute, I decided to put one of my um, magnet boards from Joann's that I've had for a long time. I have glued it in the back. And even though this has cork board on it now, it's going to hold a lot of my needle minders. So it's kind of like a one-stop cross-stitching thing. I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. And when I made this piece, I was thinking about like a little bulletin board, but... Um, I really like it with the needle minders and the cross stitching supplies. You can probably put some scissors or something in here, but the cork board also, it was a piece of cork board. It came from the Dollar Tree. So everything here came to the Dollar Tree except for the paint and the metal, the, um, 
the magnetic board that's inside. It's glued inside. Um, but it was really fun to do that. Like a different craft. And I have another thing. It's in the other room. I don't really want to get it. But I think I posted it on Instagram too. It's taking three of those crates. Or excuse me, trays, not crates. Trays that I've... Um, polyurethane and I took two wooden arrows along the side so I made this tiered um, shelf type thing and it looks really cute and it's kind of sitting on my nightstand and I'm trying to figure out where exactly I'm going to use it the most but um, just like I said something different to do than um, cross stitching at times as I haven't sewn lately and I want to sew it's just been too crazy to pull out the sewing machine. But speaking of that, I'm going to move into haul because with my sewing machine, I don't have a lot of space um, or dedicated space. <clears throat> but when I want to sew, my sewing machine is just kind of, you know, it's a regular sewing machine. I went to Sew Steady. It's a little dusty. I don't know if you can read it. Um, and they make acrylic um, extenders for almost any sewing machine. I plugged in my sewing machine model number and I got this and it comes with, you know, feet that have adjustable uh, screws in them so you can change that. I love this. I haven't officially used it with the sewing machine, but I got it all leveled out and it's ready to go. So it should give me a really smooth <clears throat> process of of sewing, especially when I want to make some project bags and some other things. So, um, just realized I had this bag tied. I'm just going to cut it open so I don't make as much noise. Now, <laughs> the rest of this haul was actually just acquired in the last couple of days. I might have showed these to you before, but I'm not sure. These little chalkboard. Um, I think they came from Dollar Tree or Dollar General and I'm either going to write on them or I, you can put a little small cross stitch in there and glue it or glue it or you know paste it in there so I thought those would be really cute I finally found some of those um, blocks from Michael's that Priscilla and Chelsea um, talk about and I like having the different colors and when you cover the front you already have a decorated side so I purchased all of them so I've got the light blue which was Let's Cook. The green was Holy Guacamole. The red is Bless This House. And the dark blue was My Kitchen, My Rules. Right? Yes. Um, and I got them on sale. They were 40% off. And they are sturdy. I mean, they're all the way through. So I have those. I like I have some options. Okay. At... Hobby Lobby, I found these, and they're a little smaller than these, but I like that the solid black side, I think it would be really good as well to uh, put something on the front. Um, so I got those on sale too. So there's a white, see? How cute would that be? Getting ideas. I got some tote bags at Target that I think I might take to a uh, stitch con maybe put something on here um, with my Cricut haven't decided then when I made that trip to Michael's I had no idea that they've been selling fabric my hair in my face um, I walked in and I was I looked in the corner where most of the cross stitch is and I'm like where did the cross stitch go and I just see fabric and I'm like where did this fabric come from so um, I looked around and I found something that I hadn't seen before so and it was some um, friends fabric but with the name so this would be perfect to go with the other fabric that I have for friends and then I already have a bag made with this from a um, uh, a lady on Facebook but I love this fabric so much that I bought my own it's like the old Disney movie posters and they had it in such a good price I could not resist and that same day I stopped by the Joann's and finally picked up Indiana fabric to go with my other Indiana stuff but I like I like that a lot so that's a little bit of my fabric haul um 
I don't remember where I even bought this. It might have been. I can't remember. It might have been at Joanne's. 28 count Monaco, right? Yes. Because I really want to dye some fabric. I want to dye fabric. So, and then at Michael's as well. These were adorable. And I thought they would be perfect in my little basket um, area. I can trim this down and they would look like little fireworks um, for the summer. So, could not resist. Ooh. And then I found another deal on Facebook, going through the Facebook marketplace. And this is something I kind of always liked and wanted a little bit. Um, but wasn't willing to pay the price. This I got for over half, less than half of what it went for retail. I got Stitch Offily made by DMC. This is so adorable. I had to open it. It says, because it came completely brand new, sealed, wrapped. Um, let's see if I can turn it around here. So it really is just like a Monopoly. It's so, I mean, my my husband kind of laughed at me. But then my son and I were looking at this because he's making a Monopoly game for his school project with Hunger Games. So we were using this to make uh, to talk about some things. But, um, of course, you get the money. I mean, the whole idea is that you're going to start stitching. And then you get to buy these stores or uh, properties to build stores. And then there's class fees that you have to pay or hoop and, and fabric. And then you can either go shopping or have a needlework stash, which are like your um, take a chance type cards. And it's just, we haven't officially played it, but we looked at all the pieces. And those are actually what I was really excited about. All those tokens. So you have a bobbin, the hoop, the thread cutter, scissors, floss, and a shuttle. So I, I'm just a total geek over having that, trying to find a place to get it out of my way. Uh, and it's in a purple box. So then I went to Walmart for looking for something. I can't remember what it was now. So I went to one out of town to see if they had, oh, I know some cute little leggings that nobody had. Um, and the store I went to down around Indianapolis actually had their Americana fabric out. So I had to buy some. This is so adorable. This made me think of Priscilla and Chelsea with the blue and red. And here's some tie-dye. Red and blue stars. I haven't even got to um, refold these or iron them. Um, fireworks. That's just that bag. This is a different brand, but um, a blue paisley design. And then blue with red bandana kind of print um, blue with fireworks a red bandana print um, little stars with striped waves and then this kind of quilt I mean to me it reminds me of a quilt like stars and stripes and a block kind of look and I think that's a little bit of everything in there but I bought a couple of everything <laughs> If I have so many ideas, I just got to do it. I bought so much that I took the box home. But when I went to the clearance aisle, which I just happened to walk by, they had more of my favorite, favorite fabric. And for half off, I bought more. So, so 
so yeah, I have enough fabric to keep me busy for a while. I just wish I had more time. Um, and yeah, and the kid's going to be out of school soon, the next two weeks. So I don't know where my time's going to go. Um, but I can't wait to go to StitchCon. I, um, I'm, I, I think about it every day. I mean, is that just corny and silly? I don't know what projects I'm going to take. I might take a new start. In fact, I might take... I'm pretty sure I'm going to take Fantasia with me um, as a new start. Um, I've already taken it out once, but I have not sorted all the threads the way I want to. Um, but, yeah, I haven't... That's the thing I think of, the nerve that just drives my nerves crazy is what am I going to take? I don't want to take too much, but I definitely want to make sure that I have everything that I want to work on, you know, any given project. Um, but And show off. I mean, am I supposed to bring any finishes? Um, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before because... I've had to record videos multiple times sometimes. So I will talk about these two threads really quick. And I just realized I hadn't. Uh, these um, are from accesscommodities.com, but I got them at a little craft shop in Chesterfield. I think it's the official little town that is in Chesterfield, Indiana. Um, by a lady who does a lot of tatting and so she carries tons of sh shuttles and she also um, carries Sullivan threads she carries Krennic she carries does she have petite treasure bed I'm not sure but she even has tons of milk of beads and so I picked these up real quick um, from her weeks ago as I may be an alternative to the the filaments that are used in the Thomas Kincaid kits. And yeah, that's the other thing. Thomas Kincaid. I am so close to getting Pinocchio done, and I say this every time. I promise you, every time I go to sit and stitch on it, because it's I really need to give it a couple hours before I'm going to see more progress. Um, a phone call happens, or my plans change for the day, and I do not get to sit down that long on that project. Um, that's why these others have progress on them because they they get to go in the car he can't go in the car Pinocchio can't so um but I'm not putting him away until he's done um but again thank you for watching and hanging out with me on this Friday afternoon um if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, I will try to put the link below if you have any questions comments shout outs whatever just let's like I said let's just Let's just chat. Like I am so ready to to dig more deep into crafting of all kinds, but cross it will always be my um, my priority. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know, and I will talk to you guys um, hopefully in another couple weeks. Um, but I will hope to see you guys at StitchCon too. So have a good afternoon. Bye.